old walls that I built for you Just to dig me out with silver spoons No, I didn't see it coming, oh Old walls that I'm stuck inside I guess beauty sees what I can't find I didn't, no, I didn't <laughs> Almost a year later, and it's still on the top. Oh, oh. what's up, guys? Liam here, and welcome <coughs> back to LSJ TV. Um, we are starting off today's video with a workout, <coughs> and but oh my god. <laughs> And by opening up a fresh tub of CG Blue Lime. I would go as far as to say that this is one of the only remaining tubs of this, considering they discontinued it a good seven, eight months ago, probably. And I kept one for, for this purpose, to eventually make a video of it. And, in true ghost fashion, if you bombed it, and it's not on camera, then did you even bomb it? Cheers, everyone. <laughs> I normally put a bit of water in there before. Ha! <laughs> Okay, let's train. Old walls that I'm stuck inside, I guess beauty sees what I can't find. I didn't, no I didn't, see it coming. Well, if you're wondering what the hell just happened there, I mean, I've been using my speaker, um, or I say my art speaker, the home gym speaker, as a uh, phone charger. My phone charger broke the other day. Um, it's not snapped or anything, it's just stopped working. And so I'm using the speaker as a charger, bringing it up and down. It's a bit of a ball ache, but it is what it is. You know, let's train. So, the video that we're doing today, guys, is going to be, uh, turn this down for coffee, right? The video that we are doing today is going to be solely a pull day. So, back and biceps. The reason being, in the video that you saw before this, or it might have been the one before that, said I needed to change up my plan a little bit. And so, while none of those goals directly related to back day and pull day, or anything to do with any of those exercises. This would be one of the days that I do, sort of, with a few variants, if I was to change the routine to the routine that I'm thinking of doing right now. But it's taken some thought, it's taken some time, I wanna put some effort into it, and really think through how this plan that I'm gonna design can pinpoint where I want to get, and how I can get there. So it takes some time, it takes some thought, but this would be one of the days. That's all. Yeah. Oh. So far, sick session, sick 
Pump the CG Blue Line Pre is coming. Hey, that right? CG Blue Line Pre. I've never said that like that before. Anyway, the pre workout's coming through with a sick pump. I'm having a sick session seeing just how far we can push this home gym equipment. See, the thing is, with a new plan that I have made by myself, I will be able to tailor everything to one, the goals that I have, and two, the equipment that I have available to me. And so, you know, with other plans, I've just kind of tailored the exercises, stuff like that. You know, things that you have to do when you do get given a plan. Sometimes, let's say you're in a commercial gym, you can't get on a machine, so you change it to something else. Similar kind of thing, except I could customize it exactly to one, where I want to be, and two, the equipment that I actually have. So I'm trying out a few different things today. And it's going good. Old walls that I'm stuck inside I guess beauty sees what I can't find I didn't, no I didn't See it coming Well I got your gold and I got your message I want you to know that you are the love of my life The love of my life You never leave when the song is So, essentially what's happening there is by using these rather than something like this allows you to, when you come into the middle, actually pull them apart, get that little bit more squeeze and allows you to fully extend at both sides. So full contraction, full extension. Rather than getting stuck here because you hit your gut, you can actually pull these apart to get that little bit more squeeze. Feels good. You see, as a PT, as a trainer, as a coach, as a, a you know, whatever, right? In, in fact, this can apply to, sod the gym, this could apply to absolutely everything. Doesn't matter what you do, you should always be open to new ideas, always be open to new things, always open to well, criticism, open to constructive criticism, open to, you know, just advice and open to actually learning new things because you can uh, us humans are creatures of habit right we love routine we love structure we love balance right and that is something that you can kind of do with your training obviously training routines right you know you need a routine you need some form of consistency to see consistent progressive overload to see consistent well progression right however one thing that can come as a byproduct of that is too much repetition. Doing the same thing too much, getting bored of doing what you're doing. I'm not saying that that's what's happened with me. However, one thing that has happened with me is I can listen to other people's advice. I can then take that on board and experiment with stuff like this. Create a new plan that suits me perfectly down to the ground to achieve the goals that I want to achieve. And if I was so closed off thinking, I know best, I know this, I know that, I know my own body, blah, 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 all that crap, right? Then I wouldn't get to where I need to be. It's as simple as that. The thing that's going to get me to where I need to be is a structure, yeah, I know that what I've just said, like bear with me, a structure that works for my routine, a structure that works for my body, a structure that works for the equipment that I have available to me. And so, don't be that person, regardless of whether it's at uni, at school, at, at, in your job, in, in the gym, don't, or anything. Don't be that person that just thinks they know best. You know, always take that time, 
that second, that it takes 10, 15 seconds for someone to give you a bit of constructive criticism, you know? Listen to it, take it on board, and change for the better. You never leave when the song is over You ride or die till the end You're the love of my life You're the love of my life My life Oh my face so it's times um oh i've got sweat in my eye it's times like this and times like a few days ago when we had to do that hit cardio at work i suffered man i really really suffered for a good couple of days afterwards like it affected my workouts it affected my recovery and to be honest as a result affected my mood and it was almost like a little bit of a, a wake-up call almost. The wake-up call that I needed to realize, you know, I I'm unfit. I'm not as fit as I could be, as I should be. And I feel like, I feel like I have to be almost because of my job and because of this. And, you know, I have to have a certain level of, of fitness. And doing cardio, like what I'm doing right now, I've been going for 35 minutes, you know, we've done over 300 calories. I'm knackered, but I feel good at the same time. And I feel like I just needed something to make me realize that I wanted this new plan, I wanted this new structure, I needed to do more cardio, you know? I needed that little something and to be honest, that the other day was, was that little something. I didn't expect it to be, and I didn't even expect it to be a session, a, a workout. It was just a, a meeting, supposedly, but, you know, funny how life works out sometimes. That was just what I needed. So, I think a new structure, a new plan is in order. Today's video was about me testing new stuff out, seeing how far I could push the equipment, um, and I think I figured out some some pretty good things. Not everything that I thought of has been in a video yet, but just know that there's a lot going on up here that will be implemented slightly further down the line, but you will just have to wait another few weeks for that. So let me know if you guys have any thoughts on what I could do, what I could implement into a new training plan in the comment section down below. If you think I haven't shown anything, or something I might not have thought of, a piece of equipment, a, a way that I could use a piece of equipment, sorry, that we already have in a different way to what I already am doing, then let me know in the comments. I would love to hear your thoughts because at the end of the day, like what I was saying earlier, you should always be open to new things. I don't know why I keep talking with my hands like this. So I hope you have enjoyed today's video, guys. If you have, do me a massive favor, drop a like, comment down below and subscribe if you are new. Thank you so much for your support lately. Like, I can't even explain it. You guys have been amazing lately. Keep it up. It would be a massive, massive help, especially in the run onto body power. I love every single one of you watching this video right now. Together, we will grow and I will see you in the next one. Oh.